The Monday presser has come and gone. Ole Miss is one step closer for their big game with Georgia Tech this weekend. I will tell you all about it on the Locked On Ole Miss Podcast Extra right here, right now. You are Locked On Ole Miss, your daily podcast on the Ole Miss Rebels, part of the Locked On Podcast Network, your team every day. All right, welcome to the Locked On Ole Miss Podcast Extra Edition, Red and Label Edition. I am your host, Stephen Willis. Thank you for joining us. Kiffin was mom about the quarterbacks. Everybody's interested about the quarterbacks, including Jeff Collins at Georgia Tech, by the way. But Kiffin is mom on him. He's like, hey, we're winning games. We're going to keep doing what we're doing, which I think that he knows what's going on. I think he already knows what he's going to do, but he is going to do gamesmanship. Now, Whenever I say he's going to do that gamesmanship, he's not necessarily doing a Georgia Tech, although Georgia Tech will be the best team that Ole Miss has faced. But I think he's doing it for Kentucky because the GAs in that are going out trying to put together an early game plan of Ole Miss even now. And you have Keydron Smith and you have um, Jacquez Jones on campus at Kentucky that can help him out. So I think they're doing that a little bit with the knowledge that Kentucky is right down the road. But Kiffin was mom on the quarterbacks. He said Luke Altmeyer did practice today. So if he had a bum shoulder, he was out there. Um, I don't know exactly what that will say. Anyway, before we get started, I do want to tell you about a couple of things. First of all, underdog fantasy. I want to tell you about the easiest and most fun way to spice up your season. It's underdog fantasy and the pick'em game for college football. Just look at your favorite Ole Miss player, their stats, and pick whether you think they'll end up with higher or lower than that number in the, with this week's game. And you can win up to 20 times your money in a single night. Underdog keeps it super simple with their easy-to-use website and mobile apps. Pick between two and five players in your pick em slip and get all your picks right, and you'll take home some cold, hard cash. It's simple to get started. Just head to underdogfantasy.com or download the app. Sign up with um, free promo code locked on. That's two words, locked on. And Underdog will double your first deposit of up to $100. Bucks. Deposit $100, bucks, get $100 bucks free. That's Underdog Fantasy, promo code locked on. Now, I also want to tell you about LinkedIn. As you gear up, For fall, you need the right people on your team to help your small business fire on all cylinders. LinkedIn Jobs is here to make it easier to find the people you want to talk to faster and for free. So this is what you need to do. Create a job post in minutes on LinkedIn Jobs to reach your network and beyond to the world's largest professional network of over 810 million people. That is like 10% of the world's population, by the way. Then add your job and a hashtag purple hashtag hiring frame to your LinkedIn profile to spread the word that you're hiring so your network can help you find the right people. It's got simple tools like screening questions that make it easy to focus on the candidates with just the right skills and experience so you can quickly prioritize who you'd like to interview and hire. It is why small businesses rate LinkedIn jobs number one in delivering quality hires versus leading competitors. LinkedIn Jobs helps you find the candidates you want to talk to faster. Did you know that every week, nearly 40 million job seekers visit LinkedIn? Post your job for free at linkedin.com slash locked on college. That's linkedin.com slash locked on college to post your job for free. Terms and conditions apply. Also, thank you for making the Locked On Ole Miss podcast your first listen every day. We are free and available wherever you get your podcasts. All right. So we talked about that. Kiffin was among the quarterbacks. That's the main thing. Jared Ivey going back, playing against Georgia Tech, where he transferred from. He's from that area. Um, Mrs. Ivey has actually been in our Twitter spaces before and told us the story before the um, Troy game, her coming into Oxford. Really nice lady. Um, You never know who is going to stop by our Twitter spaces. Um, like that, I've got an I've got an invite out to all kinds of people that they can just stop by and talk. But Mrs. Ivy popped in there. It was nice of her, very nice. But Jared Ivy is going home. He's got more ticket requests than he has tickets he can give out. He says it will be an interesting situation, but also that he is helping um, his current teammates with what he knows about his old team. And the other thing is Nick Broker is really high on Jaden Williams, who is starting at left tackle. 
He appears to be a really good player, but that is that is one former left tackle to the current left tackle, and they're working together, and they're pretty high on it. So um, without further ado, let's hear from Lane Kiffin and the players. It's Lane Kiffin, Jaden Ivey, and Nick Broker. Okay, so, you know, really pleased with the game on a lot of areas. Um, you know, in a challenge of, you know, not a SEC opponent, you know, to come in and play really well and then to be up half at a lot and not come out flat the third quarter, you know, which felt we did the week before. And a lot of guys got to play at the end. Um, guys that usually don't get to play that practice really hard here. So um, that was all good. So very pleased with a lot of that, pleased with, you know, a lot of the new players, you know, we're in week one, there was some ups and downs with those guys. I mean, you know, I said today, if you think about it, outside of Luke's short run, every touchdown run, every touchdown pass, every touchdown reception, every return for a touchdown, and every kick was made by a portal player from this offseason. So that's a lot of guys doing right for 59 points. So good place to transfer to. Man, I'm – oh, sorry to cut you off, but really just excited, man. Go get after it, play another game. Uh, obviously, you know, going back home, playing in front of a whole bunch of friends and families, old guys. I think it'll be super, super uh, fun game. So, yeah, really excited. Yeah, I mean, I think for us, you can see there's a lot of um, improvement from week one to week two. I, I still think we're on that upward trajectory of like we're still getting a lot better. But, um, you know, I thought there was a lot more improvement from week one to week two for us. Yeah, he was out there today. Um, I think he'll be all right, and so we're just going to push forward the way that we've been going, and we're 2-0, and and so, you know, we'll figure out who goes first, you know, at some point later in the week, probably. Yeah, I've been trying to give my two cents wherever I can, just about any type of guy, any whatever stuff that I remember, uh, you know, but they've had a whole, a whole off season to, you know, do what they need to do, prepare the way they need to prepare, so, you know, it's not like, it's the exact same, so you know. But I'm giving my input where where I can. Uh, I think a lot of it in week one was just kind of some communication kind of things. We were kind of off the same page, and we didn't really strain at certain points and finish some of our blocks. But you know, I thought we communicated really well last week and kind of cleaned some of some of the technique things. Uh, we're still kind of got a ways to go, but uh, you know, from week one to week two, it was better. I, I don't know. Um, just is what it is, and maybe they're used to it. And so, you know, both guys did some good things. Both guys got some things to improve on. So, you know, we're just going to keep pushing along. Uh, I mean, it's, it's, a, it's a very fun environment to play in. I, I enjoyed being there. Loved it, man. Loved my guys, man. Um, you had some diehard fans, man, that, that were really riding for us and one of the coolest interests in college, in college football. Uh, so, you know, I think we're going to go there. Just do what we do. Um. A little bit. I mean, you kind of always wonder, but I mean, for us, you know, it doesn't really change what we're doing or anything like that. The game's still called the same and we still have our job to do. So um, I think the only thing sometimes we just wonder who's going to go in. Yeah, as long as we win, then, then that's all good. But no, that this is a different set of obstacles, you know, um, really talented team that, you know, um, played great early in week one versus Clemson. and. You know, played on five days rest the other night and, you know, probably self-admitted would say they started a little slow, which it usually happens after a big game like that. So, um, and on the road. And again, you know, I've said all along, this transfer thing, there's good and bad. Everything's new. So now i got to go on the road with all these guys that have never been on the road with us and the challenges that come with that. So um, it'll be a very big test for us. <sighs> Man, I can't count on one hand how many ticket requests I've got, but I know I only have four tickets. So <laughs> it, it might it might get a little uh, sticky there, but you know. Yeah, I think Jane's done a really good job. I mean, he's really got all the you know intangibles to play tackle. He's long, he's athletic, he's really smart, and he's done a really good job. Uh, you know, with his technique and everything, and watching film and kind of getting in the right positions to make everything happen. I mean. 
defensively, for the most part, you know, we've played really well. Um, you know, we got to play better technique on defense, tackle better, and we're going to get tested a lot more as you know this week comes and continuing on. So, uh, offensively, I think we're a big little. You know, I think we make, you know, which is probably what you would have guessed would happen with all these new players on offense and different quarterbacks, you know, we're kind of big little. We'll make really good plays, but then we won't do the little things. And so there's a lot of inconsistency there. You can see the numbers on third and fourth down, 33%, I think, for the game. Um, shows you that. And we played really bad on special teams the first week and it was really cool because our guys accepted the challenge and played lights out on special teams for the most part Saturday.